Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another episode of Zombies. Use Clinger to increase your, increase your power to pack a punch, arsenal, and crafting table. I never clicked on that dummy thing. I don't know what the hell that's about. Okay, so today I have a very simple goal. This is going to be a quicker video, uh, but I just want to exfil because I want to see what happens. Investigate the site. Contain the threat. <laughs> Punch some zombies. That's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I wanna, I want to exfil because I'm curious to see what actually happens. And there is, yeah, there is a. Uh... Whoops. Hmm. Seems like I got the same amount of points for killing it to the head as I did for mailing it. Yeah. We'll see. See, so yeah, in the first video that I made when I was just exploring the map and trying to figure out like what the hell was going on, uh, we quickly realized that when we get to round 10, we can actually exfil uh, and leave, which was something that they kind of revealed uh, early on in the trailer that they were going to actually have a way to get out of zombies and technically survive, which is cool. I personally kind of prefer the idea of just going until you just literally can't anymore. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting bonuses. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this first door. Okay. And then... I don't think I need to waste money on the pistol, because this gun gives me, like, plenty of what I need. Oh, there's a ammo box, like, right here. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. That's super useful. Hello. We're definitely... I mean, I like the idea of using the Sonar 63 because it's has a huge ammo reserve, you know? But on the other end, uh, I'm definitely slow as shit. So there is, and it, it has a really slow ADS time. Surprisingly good up close for, uh, what do you call it? Um, hit fire, especially with the, the laser. Not a bad choice. So, uh, today's video actually just because I'm just trying to survive 10 rounds, which I already did, so I'm assuming I'll do it again, uh, really just serves more as a launching platform for dialogue. So, I really wanted to just do the thing where I... stay in the opening round, or the opening round, the opening room for as long as I can and see how long I can live uh, because that was like a big challenge that we always did back in the day but I'm really just super curious to see what happens when you exfil and you literally just have to exfil three times to unlock an operator so it's like just survive zombies round 10 three times oh what's that hmm interesting Um, should I keep opening the facility? I probably should, because honestly, I think I'm going to be pretty good to go with the Stoner 63. Ooh, also, though, I take that back. So in the last episode, we upgraded the shotgun. I would like to buy that. I have almost enough money. Yeah. Literally just need to kill one zombie and then we can buy it. Yeah, so we upgraded shotguns. They do 10% more damage. I still am not 100% sure how, though. Because, like, I... Oh. The last time I played, the mystery box was here. And in some maps in the past, the mystery box is in a random location every time. And some of them, it's in the same place for the first time and then moves to a random location. And this time, it's obviously random. And we actually can't get to there for a little bit, I think. I 
believe me, this comes easy. I have plans. <laughs> Excuse me. The only problem with the nuke is the lack of points that you get for it. I never liked using it because you really didn't get that much money for it. Ugh. See? But yeah, so I'd like you guys to comment below with any challenge ideas that you have for zombies. Things that you'd like to see me do either playing solo or playing with others. Um, what those challenges might be. You can get as you know vague or detailed as you want. Like I'm I, like I said before, I love doing zombie challenges. The four-year challenge I mentioned in the last video, but if you don't, if you didn't watch that or you don't know what it is, uh, basically, with the four-year challenge, you <laughs> with the four-year challenge, you basically just stay in that opening room and you can't leave, right? And just, so it's just whatever you happen to have is what you have to survive. So the zombies can drop in this particular map. Since it's obviously different from zombies in the past, that would enable me to. I can pick up items, obviously. So that's fine. Um, and there's a crafting table there. So I can make some, like, equipment and stuff using the crafting table. It's just whatever's at my disposal in that first room. Can't open any doors, can't leave, right? Yeah, so I want you guys to comment below. Let me know if you can think of any challenges that you'd like me to tackle. I would love to give them a go. Anyone that Spilled suggests brain, a challenge that I use, of course, I'll give you a shout out in the video. Um, with a solid thank you for suggesting a good one. Um, some challenges. I've, I've been trying to think of the challenges I've done in the past. I haven't taken the time yet to go to my old channel to watch some of the old zombie videos and to, like, remember, right? Because I, I definitely want to try to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I definitely want to remember what some of the challenges in the past were because we definitely had a lot of fun doing that. Um, one of them that I thought of was... Uh, which, <laughs> some of these challenges were definitely more difficult before, right? So the four-year challenge was definitely more difficult because you just started with a pistol and a combat knife. And then... The only thing that you could buy in the first room were two pretty crappy weapons um, off the wall. And then that was it. That was your whole thing. Also, pretty limited in space for a lot of the maps. And then, like, later maps um, gave you a little bit more room. But this map has, you know, a pretty tremendous amount of space uh, available. So... Uh, plus you can craft things and you can start Down you, go. you can start with a good gun like I have the Soto 63 I've got you know some solid attachments on it I have to level the gun obviously but once I do like it would have even more and uh, that's a gigantic advantage uh, so the lobby challenge is definitely a lot easier now than it has been in the past. So, uh, and then I was thinking, like, what are some other challenges that I've done in the past? One of them was the wall weapon challenge. Anyway, yeah, you would get the mystery box or wall weapon. So the wall weapon only challenge basically just meant that you couldn't use the mystery box. You were limited to whatever weapons that you could randomly find from the walls. And the, most of the wall guns were not that great, right? Uh, and then in older zombie maps, there were... The regular guns were good for a while, but once you got to a certain length of round, they really weren't useful anymore, right? They were just... You would pour an entire magazine into one zombie trying to kill it. Like, it just completely worthless, right? So you had to pack a punch. If you didn't use the pack a punch, like, it just wasn't going to work. Um, so we had a challenge where you weren't allowed to pack a punch, right? See how long you can live just using base guns. Even that would be easier now because the guns at least have attachments, which improves them at least a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, within reason, but it is obviously making some sort of improvement. So, um, yeah, a lot of these challenges would be, a lot of the older challenges that we used to do are not nearly as challenging. So, um, you know, like not, like the no drinking 
challenge, right? So no perks, like that's another one, which I feel like that one would still, you know, have a certain level of challenging to it, but you guys get the gist of it. So definitely comment below. Let me know if you can think of something, especially something that would be more relevant to now, to how the map is currently set up, because it is definitely set up a lot different. The game is a lot different, and... Uh, like I said, some of those challenges from before are just, honestly, they're not really relevant anymore. Uh, they're just not really challenging. So, I feel like the last time I fought these dogs, I had a much more... Oh, God. We are almost ready to exhale. I am gen- oh wow, I'm actually- Oh, uh, well, there's something different, noted. Used to be back in the day when you got a max ammo, it would only fill your ammo reserves, not your magazine. So you would always reload before picking it up to make sure that you maximize the max ammo. But that's not what just happened. I just picked up the max ammo and it put ammo in my Reserve and in my magazine, so good to know. Let me see if I can pick that up. Not that I need it, because I just need to survive literally this round, so I don't need points. <laughs> but since I have the points, though, let's. What? Not have resources? Oh shit. Excuse me. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. I'm injured. That's hilarious. That's, you know what? That's what I love about zombies, though, honestly. Like, it's so easy to get caught up in a situation where, like, you think you're fine, and then suddenly you're very not fine. The same way. And like, I just lost my jug now. Hello? Okay, so let's re get jug. It's expensive, you know, like randomly getting downed like that. Like when you have teammates, they can keep picking you up, but like, who gives a crap? Like if you're losing your perks, like, because I still can't get stamina up now, because I had to rebuy Jug. Obviously, Jug is more important. Okay, so now I can exfil, right? Because I made it through, or do I have to survive through round 10? Where's the exfil? Terminal, terminal. I don't see an X fill. Oh god. Feel like the Stoner 63 is doing virtually no damage at all now unless I so god unless I uh strictly get headshots, you know. Well, that's really useful now, the max ammo. The fact that it um, fills your magazine. Because for a gun like the Stoner 63, that takes a while to reload. It's like a free reload. You know? Pretty sweet. What is that? L let me pick it up. Oh my god, it literally won't. I haven't even used this yet. Hold on, let me use this. It's literally just like a proximity mine. What I do. Okay, do I have to survive the whole round? Where is the exfil? I really wanted to exfil. It's the whole point of today's video. Uh, what is this? I want to pick it up. Uh, I got it. What was it? Wait, did I get it? What is it? I'm so confused right now. I want whatever that is. Give it to me. It was. It says it's epic. Dropped another walking corpse. Yeah, I should be using my shotgun more. 
There we go. You have to survive round 10, not just make it to round 10. Oh, I got another one of those raw anthium whatever things. Okay, so maybe every time you survive 10 rounds, you get one? Cool. Okay. Well, hey, at least we know how to get them now, because those are used to upgrade stuff in the game, so that's super important. Start x the end game with a chance to bonus rewards. Oh, okay. Well, you get bonus rewards for x -filling. So I guess it's a risk-reward thing, right? It's easy to make it... Well, it's not easy, but easier to survive through round 10. So you get some sort of reward. But maybe you can get a better reward if you make it through round 20, which is obviously a lot more difficult to do. Hold that for me. Hold that for me, please. Nice. The same way. Holy shit. Dude, the mine got some work done. Nuke. Sick. One. We're ready for extraction. Okay, now we have to board Raptor the extra vehicle. It's over there. Extraction. Oh god. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get to wherever it is. Oh, oh god, what the hell was that thing? Not normal, that's what that was. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm on my way. What? Are you kidding me? Speed pull right now? Holy shit. 30 seconds? No, 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 no. No! What? Thank god I picked up that self revive thing. No, 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 don't leave without me, please. Fell, you fail the whole thing. Oh man, learning experience. Okay, so if you're going to X fell, be prepared. It needs to be, you know, towards the end of a round, I guess. Like, right? Because you gotta kill everything in the area, otherwise, they won't let you X fell. Holy shit. Okay, well. Fuck. Okay. So it's actually a little bit harder than I thought to perform an X-Fill. So uh, that is now a goal of mine. The next time you see an X-Fill video, it will actually include me hopefully successfully doing it. Because obviously I need to try to get that done. That's, like I said, more difficult than I thought it was going to be. So we're going to have to handle it. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure that if you're new to the channel, you subscribe and you hit that bell icon that it, YouTube is so fond of. And I appreciate you guys coming out. It's a learning experience, you know what I mean? That's what I like about this. I don't, you know, I try not to learn too much from, like, friends and stuff like that that have played this game already. Like, I want to experience it you know, for myself, and then that way you guys can experience it with me. We're learning together, so it's fun. Okay, x -Fil, next time I will be successful. Thanks again for coming out, everybody. I appreciate the view and support, as always, and I will see you next time.